Hello and welcome back to my channel! It has been a while. I actually just went to Melbourne and I was going to vlog that trip and I started vlogging that trip and then I didn't. But no, I just didn't want to. I just kind of wanted to like chill for a bit and not film and like vlog with this huge camera and everyone's faces and I went with my mom so we ended up having a really great time. I did post a little TikTok. I'll just like put it here. You can go see my TikToks, whatever, if you want to see what we got up to. But I did shop a lot. And of course, in true sale fashion, I have to show you everything I bought from when I traveled overseas. So this is going to be my everything I bought from Melbourne haul. Fair warning, it is a lot. Like a lot. But it's good. I've got food, I've got makeup, I've got clothes, lots and lots of clothes and stay till the end because I also bought a very big purchase. So we shall see. First thing I got is Morphe brushes. So Morphe is like a really really good makeup brand but it's not available in Singapore. So whenever I go overseas and if they have a Morphe, I always shop there because it's just so much easier and they're great quality. This was 50% off. So I got this for $20. It's a set of five Morphe brushes plus a bag and I got it for like $20 or $22. I'm actually very glad that it came with this big bag because I'm always in need of like makeup bags and stuff like that for travel. First one is this like, oh this is perfect for like under eye. You know when I put like my banana powder or my setting powder or whatever, this would be perfect for that. And I've been using the same brushes for like maybe five years now for all I know, but this is just, I think it's time for a switch up. So this is nice. This is a stippling brush. I always wanted to get one because um, when you wear foundation, I actually just use a beauty blender and I don't really like to use a brush, but I do use a lot of cream blush. And I feel like using a brush like this would be a lot better than using a beauty blender because like, I don't get to like aim it properly. So I think this will be really good for cream blush. And even like um, cream bronzer, I think that would be good. This will be... Maybe like blush. Also, can I just say also the packaging is so sleek and it's so light. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. We'll see. This I can definitely use for highlight. And this one easily for contour. These are the five brushes. I'm very happy with my purchase. I actually like wanted to buy it the first day, then I ended up not buying it. And then thank God I waited because when I came back at the end of my trip, it was 50% off. So I got this plus this for 20 bucks. Great deal if I say so myself. Next thing I got from Morphe is this Make It Big Lip Plumper. Now I have kind of am trying to get into the habit of like lining my lips. I actually haven't lined them right now. I'm trying to like overline them a little bit because my lips are really thin. And I do like the juicy plumpy but not too crazy. And I've always wanted to get like a lip plumper to just see how it looks. So I got this lip gloss. Um, I have not tried it. I could actually try it now but um, I'm going out so maybe let's not do that. But this is what it looks like. I did try it the tester and I don't remember it being tingly but we'll update you if it is. But excited to try that. Ooh, I'm really excited for this. So this is a brand called Beauty Bakeries. If I'm not wrong, it is a black owned brand and this brand became really popular during quarantine and I saw it all over my favorite YouTubers who were using it and they were selling it at the Morphe store so I had to buy one. So I got their lipstick. Um, it's a very pretty shade actually. I'm, I'm not gonna wear it now because I don't wanna get lipstick on my hand but I don't know, but weirdly enough, right? They've come with like cracks in the lipstick which I'm a little confused by. I also got this sugar lip scrub from Beauty Bakery. One thing about this brand is that their packaging is really cute. You should see their like powders. They literally look like baking, like actual baking, oops, baking powder. So very cute. Let's get into the food first. Let's clear the food. So I have this whole box of granola bars, protein bars that I bought. And I have tried all of them already and it is literally so good. I'm a very huge fan of like protein balls because I go to the gym a lot and sometimes I'm just doing my like cardio, you know, walking on the treadmill. So when I do that, I don't like to have a full like banana or half a banana. I feel like that's too much for me right before I work out. So this will come in really, really handy. This is smooshed whole food balls and cacao brownie. Um, all, everything I buy is in chocolate flavor. It just is what it is. This is amazing. I think I bought like three packs. I don't even know. I also got this collagen low carb protein bar in peanut butter chocolate this was i think definitely my favorite one it was so so good i'm actually heading to Cebu, which by the way i'm definitely not going to vlog on my big camera but i'm down to do an iphone vlog if you're interested in watching that it won't be as good quality but like 
I think it'll be fun. So let me know if you're down for an iPhone vlog in the comments below and I would definitely, I can do that for sure. Anyway, I was buying these for my Cebu trip because I know I will definitely need them. And another one I got is this Nutty Protein Bar um, by Tasty. This is also very, very good. If you're going to Australia, definitely try these brands because like you don't get them in Singapore and these are like next level protein bars. Like I literally bought a full box worth of protein bars and protein balls. So amazing. Let's get into the clothes. My favorite part. Actually, the favorite part at the end of the video, but we'll just do the clothes first. So I'm going to go by brand. All the brands I shopped at were all Australian brands. I didn't want to shop from anything that had like the same brand in Singapore. So, and I did a lot of like outlet shopping. So I did get things for like quite cheap, but not everything. Some things I did get regular price. The first brand I went to is Supri or Supre. I don't know. And the first thing I got are these linen pants. I've been seeing these everywhere. And I also, like I said, I'm going to Cebu. So maybe I might do like an outfit styling for Cebu, like pack with me for Cebu and style all my outfits because I actually need to do that. So that might be a next video idea. But um, I'm thinking of wearing this as like a cover up for my bikini and um, I'm just wearing like a bikini top with it and roaming around the beach. But this is something I'm looking forward to wear. Then I got this very sexy bustier tube top here you go this is the tube top i actually really wanted it in black but they didn't have my size and another thing i'm not very happy about is that these look like a bra strap like and because i need the last hook you will see these like weird hooks um behind which i'm not too much of a fan of but it's okay because like i'll just use my hair to cover it this is also a really nice color that i could wear with like denim white heels you know like that kind of thing very very cute top i'll definitely be wearing a lot one of my favorite purchases is this dress um i bought this like ruched black dress with little like slits in the side it's so hot they had this color in like a baby blue as well but um when i tried it on my mom said this one looked better on me so i ended up getting this color and you know what you can never go wrong with a black dress you just you always gotta have one the next store i shopped at was this store called paper kites it was literally rouge dream like every single outfit and every single clothing item there all ruched so so good um so i bought this like white oh my god how do i even wear this this like white top kind of like a corset vibe and the great thing about this and the next piece i'm going to show you is i don't have to wear a bra which is really really like hard to find for people with bigger chests it's just everyone's like i don't have to wear a bra with this i'm like how how but this actually you don't have to wear one and it's really sexy in the back like it's all crisscross and everything so another really good Cebu outfit or i might just save this for like a night out somewhere um but definitely definitely one of the faves another one oh this is definitely one of my favorites as well i think the favorite dress i've gotten from this whole trip is this ruche dress with cutouts as well this like big cutout and this is perfect for like a beach holiday with like some pink heels or something and like it is it fits me like a glove it accentuates my body and it makes me feel really really good in it so love this then i went to the store called dotty and like i got three tops for 24 dollars <laughs> so amazing um, this was the first top I got. It's just this very cute knitted top. I like to wear these with like shorts, jeans, like easy going tops in Singapore that you can wear. Then I got this cami again, nothing crazy. I wanted to get like more everyday going out tops, you know, like whenever I go to someone's house or something, I can just wear this with shorts and like call it a day. Very simple, very easy to throw on. Then this top is really cute. Let me zip it up so you can see. I wore it in um, Melbourne itself. Don't ask me how, it was freezing. Um, but you know, fashion over function. So this is the top. It was. It's actually very comfortable. Um, it fits my bust really well. The poofy sleeves just add a really nice detail. The color is gorgeous. Very comfortable but very, very cropped. So I would suggest wearing something really, really high-waisted with it. If you want. If you don't want to, then you do you. Last store I went to is Glassons, which is a really, really nice store. First thing I got is this brown leather shorts which i'm thinking could go with the beige leather bustier but i don't know whether that's too much so i might do like a white bodysuit or something with this and i think that would be such a cute like going out outfit or like a bar or something very very cute very excited for this then oh i wore these pants in melbourne already um you can see on my instagram is these like flared 
checkered pants and I had to size down in this actually so I got a size 8 usually I'm a size 10 because it's like el this like elastic thing is like really stretchy so but it was very very comfortable very comfortable very easy to wear I wore it with a black bodysuit and I really liked it and I would love to try this with like a white some sort of a white top I think that would look really good as well I got this um navy blue dark blue Top, which I really like as well very good for Singapore it's so hot so like and it's like a nice contrasting color so it'll look really good I got this other top as well which I really like I have nothing like this it's like a um, like a little halter situation really nice color very complimentary of my skin tone uh, it could go actually this could go great with the brown leather shorts and a lot of the outfits actually I went to the Ripple outlet store and can I just say it shopping at a swimwear outlet store is one of the worst experiences I've ever had Thankfully, the second rip curl I found had my sizes. So the first thing I got, which I will not be trying on, <laughs> is this one-piece swimsuit. Very, very comfortable. Um, and I got these. I got this one at fifty dollars, and I got the bikini set for thirty dollars. And rip curl, it's like the top could be just ninety dollars. So I got a really, really good price, and of course, it's good quality. So I mean, I'm, I'm like okay with this. I just really wanted something from rip curl, and I feel like. This was the only thing in my size, so I was like, I'm just gonna get it. Then, a um, bikini I'm really excited for. It is this, like, wired bikini. And if you have a bigger chest and if you haven't tried this sort of, like, wired thing, dude, you need to try because this fit me so well. It made me look so good, so flattering. And I got this bottom to go with it. It's not that cheeky. It's kind of fine. Um, but I'm very excited to wear this on my trip as well. Then from a gift shop, I got this hat. Um, I like to collect souvenirs like these. Whether it's like a shirt or like a cap, I just, I like to collect things like this. So I got one for Great Ocean Road, Australia. And finally, for my main big purchase, I got my first bag all on my own. This is her in all her glory. Please look at this beauty. It is a shoulder bag. It can be a long strap bag um, but I got it by myself I was really proud of myself I got it all on my own from an outlet store so it was a lot cheaper but still like expensive um, and I'm a material girl I love material things and I don't know everything about it like the color is just so pretty it's got black browns like everything about it the gold um, detailing and I don't know I think it's so versatile it's so good I'm gonna definitely use it as a shoulder bag for like night out and then a longer strap when I need to carry more stuff but I'm so happy I bought it on the first day and I wore it every day after that so this was the biggest purchase I made and I'm very very happy about it that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you want to check out more content you can follow my Instagram or my TikTok where I would have posted some videos of what I shopped and videos of my trips you can keep up with me there I also posted a podcast episode recapping the entire trip with all the stories so even though I didn't vlog you get all the tea on the podcast so definitely go check it out everything will be linked in the description below let me know what you want to see next and if you're interested in like iPhone vlogs for Cebu Cebu planning my outfits um let me know and I will do that for sure Thank you so much for watching this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one, bye!